Hey guys, Capolian here. Basically, I recorded a vlog of me earlier, which was basically me putting in my contact lenses, but it wasn't looking too good. All you saw was just down here, and it was just me going, <laughs> okay, more like, <laughs> my glasses fell. I'm not wearing them, so where did they, where I have it? That, ha ha! Ha ha! I have I have a skirt down there, so it's it it, it broke the fall. <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know. It's I was like, you know what? I'm gonna talk about this thing. Hold on. <sighs> got one of those. Got one of those. The stupid. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh yeah, that was manly. Mm-hmm. Don't let's not do that again. Anyways, so. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to talk about. Maybe one of the fun things I could talk about was, um, hmm. You know, yesterday was Mardi Gras. Maybe I'll talk about, um, some fun times. I had when, when me and Muti went to New Orleans. New Orleans. New, New Orleans. New Orleans. I say New Orleans. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. You know, you just don't, I don't know. I just never hear people say it whatever the proper pronunciation is. I always say New Orleans because fuck the rules. <laughs> so I guess it's going to be kind of a, a short, short vlog. I don't know. It's never short with me. <laughs> no. All right. I'm um, going to basically look at my little things. Anyways, um, back at, I don't know, 2000, 2001, maybe 99, me and mother, we went... We drove to New Orleans because we were still living in Houston at the time. So it was just a, I don't know, four hour drive. <laughs> Basically, you're just driving along the water because it's just, you know, Gulf Coast or, you know, water everywhere, bayous and the such. <laughs> Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there, there wasn't much going on. Plus, it's like, you know, not that long of a drive, so we just drove over there. And so, that was, that was the wrong, wait, is this my vlog, um, notes? No, that is not, that is not the vlogging notes. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, what I did, what we did was, we just basically, we spent a few days there. Um, it was pretty cold. Um, I don't know what month exactly, because we had not digital cameras at the time. And so they don't have dates or such. That's not fun. All right, I'm going to try to think. We'll see. How much of this am I going to talk about? Because I said I want to talk about New Orleans, and it was only going to be in one vlog. Ha-ha! Ghost Encounters! It has other s stuff in it, too. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're talking about ghosts. Ha, huh, you didn't, you weren't expecting that, but we're going there. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. The reason why, um, you know, it's kind of special, fun vlogs, because it was my first ghost experience. Well, not my first one. If you go way back, uh, I don't know, last month, January, it wasn't too long ago, I, um... I talked about how, you know, basically went through my first ghost experience, but I didn't really realize what it was until like two years ago, which I was like, you know, just sitting there going, ding, that was a ghost. <laughs> like I literally did, it just hit me. And so, yeah. <sighs> so we took one of them ghost tours. You could just, you could take a walking ghost tour around there. Like it, you just you just walk around the French Quarter and you talk the 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 the, 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 the guide. Uh, they just talk about you know stories of what happened there. We went to a few locations. Some I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, basically, um, we went to like this. Let's see, one of the places I can remember was a tea room where basically a woman basically. All I can remember is, like, if you're there on the coldest night of the year, you see a naked woman on the roof. Yeah, of course that'd be the thing I remember. I think I think it was like she was pregnant or something. I don't know. It was pretty strange. And it's like, if you go in there, you feel like someone's frilly skirt brushing across you, and you're like, no, no, that's not okay. I actually had experience like that at a, uh, at a little cafe in Newtown here in Albuquerque. 
New Town? Old Town. Fuck it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but seriously, though, New Town, what the fuck am I on? Okay, but seriously, though, I did have experience like that. It was like some old woman's rushing at me. I was like, what the fuck? Get away from me. I'm trying to eat my food. Um, basically, if you're wondering who I'm talking about, it's, um, it's behind the church at, at Old Town, so, you know, just go behind the church, and then it's on that street. It's, like, right in the middle. It's not very long. You can walk down that, that street in, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> so, yeah. But, anyways, um, back to New Orleans. Um, um, basically, um, we just, let's see, oh, 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 if you, if you were watching, if you were watching, hmm, uh, American Horror Story Coven, you know, the crazy, um, immortal lady, um, that was not Laveau, it was, um, LaLaurie, um, basically, you know, she was a real person in history, like, you know, like, they were talking about her house, and how basically she tortured her slaves, and it's like, you know, it, like, you're basically outside her real house, and it's like, it's like you hear all about this, all this crazy shit. I don't know how I didn't remember. I didn't remember it until um, started watching the show again, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember that." And they were inside our house. Well, we didn't go inside. We were outside. And basically, one of the I still remember one of the windows. It's like blocked off because some woman jumped out, and basically you could still see people peeking out from the windows, and that's uh, that's not okay. I'm sorry. I still got that that inhaling exhaling bullshit going on in my lungs my lungs suck at being lungs if you got that reference I love you anyways <laughs> I'm sorry I'm kind of hyper right now um what was another one um one of the places we didn't get to experience during the tour at the time was the graveyards um so yeah we went to or did we go to the graveyard? I don't remember. I think we we tried to. I think me and my mom would try to find the graveyard, and so eventually we got there at one point where the tomb of Marie Laveau is, and basically it is covered, and it had it had a lot of stuff. I don't know how it is nowadays. Basically, her tomb, her crypt, her whatever, it's all covered in X's. Um, I remember my mom actually. Um, she has to do a return visit there because she she had some guy trying to mack on her and she was like no that's not okay and he he eventually stopped because yeah <laughs> that's not fun at all mm -mm. so she, basically if your wish comes true you're supposed to go back and leave multiple of multiples of three so it's like three x's it's like the common thing there so yeah <laughs> okay, so back. Let's see. And so I guess I'll talk about the actual ghosty thing that happened to me. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of that. It, it was the last day we were going to go back that day later on. And then so it was like kind of early. So I don't know, 10, 11. We went to a restaurant. I remember the address is like 717 or uh, 711, one of those numbers. It was like, it was a restaurant. It was like, it was like a restaurant at the bottom. And I can't remember the exact name. And then it's like, uh, like it has like a bar on top. And basically they could see Mardi Gras happening. And it was kind of early and they were just like, oh, we'll take you to the, the top, um, the, the second floor. And so we we're like, okay, cool. And so it was just me and my mom and you know, there's nobody there. They would just come up, check on us every now and then. And so my mom had to go potty. So she went to go potty. Here I am eating, I think, probably a po' boy or something. And suddenly, um, um, behind, not behind me, but like, like to my left, there's like these saloon doors, you know, they go, I can't do because other hand is home. You know, you know, like in the old Westerns, how they have those doors that swing open, like the two little tiny door things. That, that's how it was. And they just, there, it was, there was no wind. It was inside. And, you know, I would have felt a breeze or something. But there was nothing making them open. And I know my mom had to go through there. But the thing is, it's like, you know, they're, they're, 
There's a space underneath. You can see a shadow. There was no shadow. There was nobody pushing it. There was no wind. It was just moving. And I kind of freaked out a little. So I started talking like I do nowadays. I think we're getting to the root of why I do these. <laughs> so that happened. I freaked out. And it stopped. And then like 10 seconds later, my mom comes out. And I did not tell her. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. That was so long ago. That was that was probably 14, 15 years ago. Young me doesn't remember shit like that. Okay, I remember some shit. <laughs> I'm very, I just, you know, some of it's you know, spotty. Yeah. But anyways, um, when we were done, we were, they told us like, hey, you could see the Mardi Gras from here. And we were like, sweet, let's go out to this patio. Let's take pictures. Yeah. And so it, we didn't have, like, we didn't, there was no digital, ca digital cameras were not a, a thing, like a common thing nowadays. So we just had, like, the, the 35 milliliter, um, milliliter? Let's just bear with me. And <laughs> basically you had the, 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 the role that you had to go and get developed. So we, so she takes my picture and we we're just like, oh, you know, we'll go develop this when we get home in Houston. So we, we get them developed and our, we had pictures. We did took, we did, we did took multiple, many pictures in that area. And, um, I, I don't know which ones. Um, I, I think we did take some like out to the street and then we took some with like me and my mom were just standing there on the, the, the little patio thing and, they were black. Mm hmm We were like, oh, what the fuck? And so, little me, who was, who was getting used to this whole internet thing, looked it up, and I found out there was a girl that died right there. And I was like, oh. That explains everything. It, it actually did. It, it's the only possible explanation. Basically, that's where I realized there are ghosts in this world, and I have seen it. I have experienced it. Remember, I, I, I did not think about the, the bed ghost at, at grandmother's house. So remember, <laughs> little me did not know that. So yeah, that was my first actual legit ghosty experience. And I told my mom and then she was like, oh, it was haunted. We're like, yeah, we should come back here. We haven't been to New Orleans ever since. Yeah. Mhm. Mm um. Yeah. I guess should I should I keep talking about my other ghosty experiences? You know what? Why not? Why the fuck not? I still have plenty of space on here. I think I don't know. I had five hundred megabytes left. I need to delete shit off my phone. Anyways, um, I guess another ghost experience I had. Um, this was back at two thousand eight. I think it was in Kentucky. Um, me and the Parentos. We learned about this um, n new paranormal, supernatural horror convention in Lexington, Kentucky. And we're like, hey, we've never been to Kentucky. And, you know, they, they wanted to do something just random. And, you know, it was like this thing was in its first year, but it was already sounding impressive. And then um, um, you know, we were learning, we were getting into the, the show called Ghost Adventures. And we learned like, you know, the guys were going to be there. And we're like, oh shit, we should go. So that just gave them more initiative to like, yeah, let's go to Kentucky. And then, um, they were going to have like a tour at this, uh, ah, oh, shit, I forgot the name of it. I think it's called Waverly Hills. Make sure I'm not getting it mistaken for someplace else. Oh, you can see my closet. I'm Gomen. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it was called Waverly Hills. It was a s sanatorium. Sanitarium. I can't remember the proper pronunciation. Basically, there were sick people and they died. And it was like the tuberculosis um, re rehabilitation hospital. Basically, people died. Because they were like, fresh air and sunshine will help you. <laughs> I know, people's mentality back then. So anyways, um, we, we um, 
basically, we go to the convention, Scarefest, it was called. I don't know if I said the name of it, but now you know. And it was, it was fun. Like, you know, of course, like any other convention, you're walking around, like, forever. The only thing, though, is that you had to buy tickets to go to the panels. Like, that really sucked. <sighs> yeah, but, you know, just... It was pretty great. And so, um, after the convention, we go to, oh God, I forgot where it is. Is it Waverly Hills? I'm going to look up the name of it right now. Let's see. I'm going to have to type with one hand. Let's do this. Waverly. Wrong. Come on. Chrome, where did you go? Don't you hate when it does that? Not responding. Thank you very much. Mm hmm This is exactly... Fine. Do, oh, oh, now you're going to... Come on. No, I don't want Weasel.com. I want... Aha! Louisville! I found it. So, anyways. Oh, my God. That looks so scary. You know what's, what's crazy is they're going to make it into a hotel. Like, oh. That's, uh... That's... Yeah, that's a thing. Yep. Two-story... Two story. I'm pretty sure there was more than two stories. Okay, there's a picture. Yeah, they had more. <laughs> Anyways, so we we took a tour. We're walking around. We we took a tour with a guy who played Jason from one of a few of the Friday the Thirteenth video videos movies. Hmm. Some I don't know what happens to my brain when I record. It just goes. <laughs> Anyways, um. So, um, we go around, and then we see shadow people, because, ooh, shadow people, you know, go down to the, to the, these halls, and it's like, there's nobody there. Who the fuck would hide in these places? Not me. <laughs> I'd be like, uh-uh, you guys are on your own. See you guys up later. Bye. Yeah, that'd be me. Anyways, we go up to the fourth or fifth floor, and I, let me just tell you, I was just totally... I was a little freaked out, but uh, more, mostly, you know, just kind of like on edge. But then for some reason, it's like, you know, we go up there and it's like, it's a, it was like the kids ward or something. And I just started crying for some reason. Like I wasn't sad, you know, it's like, you know, it's sad to hear that, but I wasn't like, oh, so upset. I wasn't, but you know, it was just weird. That's only, that's happened to me twice. I forgot where else. Um, I may have to ask the parents, but basically, um, yeah, that was just weird. Like, I don't know why. And my parents were like, they were like, maybe you were here in another life. And I'm like, maybe, I don't know. So yeah, that was like a weird, I heard that happens to some people too. Like, you know, they start crying, but they're not emotionally compromised. So it's very confusing because you're like, no. Get out of me. I do. I am not upset. What is going on? Why are there? Am I leaking? <laughs> Basically. Yeah. All right. You know what? Stuffed in two stories. Let's go for a third. So the last, not so last place, actually more like this happened obviously after New Orleans, but before Kentucky. So we went up to Santa Fe, which is like a, I don't know, 45 minute drive from Albuquerque, but it's still pretty dangerous. still crazy. Don't drive in New Mexico. We have a bad DWI system. Problem. Ah, la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we drove up there cause there was going to be like a concert. Like I think it was a concert my stepdad wanted to go to. It's like, like hippie music, people are high and eating pot brownies or whatever. I don't know. They're just like, Ooh, you know, you know those songs where they just they only sing for like two verses, and then there's a, like a twenty minute guitar solo, and then basically it was so boring. I almost fell asleep, and you know, there's a bunch of hippies. I just, I'm, I just don't like it. I don't like that type of music. I like music that's like, because I'm like, woo, yeah, party. <laughs> now you little, you know a little bit more about me. <laughs> so yeah, um, we stayed at this hotel. 
it was called the Bishop's Lodge. So, <laughs> and we were, it's, it's like a nice little place. It was a pretty cool. We, we brought, we brought along our dog, our pit bull, Bo. Bless that little dog. He wasn't a dog. He was like a cat. Just bigger and scarier looking. <laughs> okay, he wasn't scary looking. He was actually very adorable. <laughs> So, uh, no, you will not restart. Anyways, I, um, anyways, um, I slept. I slept soundly like a baby. Plus, I had, I think I had earplugs because, um, I can't travel with my parents because they snore. They snore so badly. Actually, my stepdad doesn't snore so badly. He has sleep apnea. So, he has a machine that helps him breathe. So, at least him, when he snores, it's that sound. It's awful. So, I take earplugs with me. And so I sleep in my bed. My parents sleep in the other bed. Basically, my mom wakes us up in the middle of the night, like three, screaming, there's a snake on me! Like, like, and you know, me and my sister are like, oh, what? There's a snake? What? What are you talking about? She's saying it's like a green glowing snake. And we're like, okay. Did you take your meds? She doesn't take. So, anyways, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, it's not, it's, it's a, it's a more high-end hotel place. So, you can actually look under the beds. There's no box to hide a body in. So, anyways, I look underneath, like, there's no glowing green snake. So, I'm like, you're crazy. I'm going back to bed. And, yeah. And, basically, my stepdad wakes up. He says he had a horrible nightmare. There were these old white people trying to drag him out of bed. They're just staring at him. And I'm just like, you both crazy. I was going on with you guys. Sorry about that. My phone decided to run out of space. Thanks a lot. Anyways, so my parents, they woke up. Well, anyways, we he says, you know, um, some someone's dragging him out of bed. And we're like, okay. Let's go home because we were we were done, and you know I, I right before that, <laughs> um, Bo the pit bull he he just kind of started looking at a spot on the ceiling. He doesn't do that. He's a very active, yet he's he, back then he was a very active dog, um, and of course he got more chill as he got older. But he was still very young, so he's just staring. Then he totally gets like that. And then, like, you know, we're just looking at him, and he does that, and we're like, what the fuck's wrong with you, Bo? Why are you doing this? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, basically, we're, we were just like, okay, we're leaving. This place is haunted. Except me. I didn't think that was haunted. Uh, you know, nothing happened to me. So, basically, we got home. I think my parents got in a huge argument. Turns out it was, it was bad ghostesses. They were causing tensions. And so, yeah. Because one of my friend's parents, she's clairvoyant. She she can tell you about your past life. Apparently, with one of my friends, I shared a past life with because I was a twin. Like, oh, that's, that's cool. I tried talking to him a while back. He has not talked to me, that son of a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So, yeah, that was that was a lot of crazy weird stuff happened. I'm, I'm so I'm so thrown off because a thing um quit and I'm just like like do I really want to restart this? And I'm like, no. Everything was raw and shown and yeah. All right. I kind of had a question here and is as to why does every paranormal investigation always involve Indians? Why do they involve Indians? Because apparently these ghosts that were messing with my parents were racist ghosts. Like, ah, fabulous. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed. Seriously, though, if there's anything wrong, it's because white people fucked with Indians. Like, y'all have it coming. I don't know. I can say that. I'm Native American. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that wasn't very ladylike of me. You know what though? I don't care. My arm's starting to hurt. I'm like I'm like I have it like my arm in like this. I'm like ugh, ugh. see, hold it here though. Blocks my light. Oh, I could probably mold it right there. But then you can see my hand right there. Oh, that's not that's 
not good. All right, I'm gonna be a man and bear through this. So, yeah. At least, at least that's not that's not a problem with with like European ghosts. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> go to Europe. Like, oh, can't blame the Indians. Nope, that was all y'all's is doing. Really, it's the Europeans' issues with the year. Mm hmm. I, yep. Seriously, though, it's like, <laughs> I seriously, it's always like, you know, they had some quarrel with the local tribe or they fucked with like s spiritual sacred grounds. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little too urban to be, you know, like more native than people expect, I suppose. I don't know. Like I said, I lived in Houston. You're, you, you don't get. There's hardly any Indians there, let alone Navajo, so I'm still kind of out of touch with some Indian things. I only know basic stuff because of my relatives and and my, you know, very limited experiences over on the reservation. Which, by the way, don't go through the reservation at night. No. Stay, just stay out. Watch out for skinwalkers. By the way, by the way, I guess I'll throw in one last rant. Whenever I see a story about skinwalkers, it better fucking be about some witch or some evil person who's wearing the skin of an animal. Not this other bullshit that sounds like the rake or some other creepypasta. That is not a skinwalker. That is not. No. That's something else. Something not related to skinwalkery. <laughs> so... Yeah, basically, a skinwalker is a witch who you don't want to fuck with them. Basically, they wear the skin of an animal, probably like a, a dog, coyote, wolf, bear, cougar, any large mammal. And uh, basically, they they travel around wearing these skins, and they they witch people. That's what they say. They actually say they witch people. I've heard that from several of my relatives. <laughs> so, yeah, don't do stupid bullshit around the reservation. Also, also, don't touch the owls. Don't. If you hear an owl, you get the fuck out of there. And don't touch a dead owl, because my stepdad said he had a friend who touched a dead owl, and he was dead a few days after. I don't know if that's true, but sounds pretty true to me. So yeah, sorry. I kind of I kind of get upset at some native esque things like that. So so now you know. Don't just don't piss off anyone. So you never know, you might be dead. Is it really worth it? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think I think that's all. That's all I have to say. It's like a week's worth of stuff to say. I'm sorry, this went on for way too long. But you know, I hope you learned something. Cause knowledge is power. All right. Um, I will, I will go ahead and shut up now and, you know, uh, we'll see, I don't know what I'll we'll talk about next time, but you know, comment, like, share, subscribe. All right. I'll see you guys next time. So, Napoleon signing off. Bye-bye.